renewed optimism in PDP as Weekes Group creates room for reconciliation. Former President Jonathan working to restore peace as Article 6 2023 as referendum on APC. Now there is a new hope of an early end to the crisis rocking the main opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, after several months of heated war amongst the major stakeholders in the party. Well, before we get into the details of the report, we'd like to say a big welcome to every one of you. Please do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Now, on today's report, it seems that there is renewed optimism in the PDP as the Wiki's group creates room for reconciliation. Well, let's get into the details and see. Now, the crisis, which is the fallout of the presidential primary, had seen the River State Governor and the PDP's presidential aspirant, Yeson Wiki, turn his back on the party, taking four other governors with him. The G5, as they are now called, gave fresh hope for reconciliation during their visit to Bauchi as part of a solidarity move to strengthen Governor Bala Mohammed's re-election bid. Now, while addressing the newsmen after the visit, the leader of the G5 and River State Governor, Wiki, expressed optimism for reconciliation. The statement was a sharp contradiction from their earlier stand not to have anything to do with the party's presidential campaigns until the removal of the national chairman, Yocha Ali. Now, the cheering news was reinforced by revelations that former President Goodluck Jonathan has been drafted to resolve the crisis. The former governor of Denway State, Gabriel Suswan, who described the crisis as a family affair, revealed that Jonathan has been drafted to resolve the issues. Now, Jonathan has been dragged into the issue to resolve the matter. Solving this problem between the G5 governors is what we should be looking at. When Wiki inaugurated the election council in River State, all the governors were there. They were also there when Autumn inaugurated the same in Benway State. This shows that they still love the party, he said. Although Jonathan had served in several capacities using the party's platform, the former president had remained a distant observer in the party's affairs since he left office. PDP has the capacity and internal mechanisms to resolve the pattern. This is why we are bringing in Jonathan to help resolve the matter. Jonathan has been dragged into the issue to resolve the matter. Solving this problem is what we should be looking at. They still love their party at heart. VK had said that he is open to reconciliation. Autumn said some of his comments were misinterpreted. Suswan said, the G5 governors led by Wiki had been aggrieved with the leadership of the PDP following the emergence of Halhaji Atiku Abubakar as the party's presidential candidate. They are agitating for balance and equity within the leadership of the party. The Wiki led group had insisted that the party's national chairman and the presidential candidates can come from the same region. It is, however, not immediately clear whether the party's national chairman has shifted ground as he insists that his four-year tenure will not be truncated midway. The party's national publicity secretary, Debo Ologunagwa, while speaking with Business Day Sunday on the issue, assured Nigerians that the party will come out stronger and better organized. According to him, we have consistently told Nigerians that reconciliation is not a 100-meter race. It is a marathon and we have never doubted that we will enter into the 2023 elections as one united family. Wiki remains a strong member of our party. So also are all the other governors you have mentioned. They will remain with us to save Nigeria and Nigerians from the evil that the ruling APC government has foisted on us all. Now, in a similar vein, the PDP presidential candidates and the former vice president of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar, 
in his reaction said that he welcomes reports that the governor of River State, Yeson Wiki, and his group are favorably disposed to the resolution of the issues with the PDP candidate. Now, Atiku Abubakar also expressed his commitment to a negotiation that will resolve the crisis of confidence and pave the way for a much stronger and united PDP. The former vice president of Nigeria, in a statement by Paul Ibe, his media advisor, stated that never at any time of the differences that has ensued as the doors been shut to Governor Wiki and his group. He enjoined every leader of the party and their supporters, irrespective of their leanings, to be open-minded and support the process of resolution of extant issues. Now also speaking at the unveiling of Recovery Nigeria message, Atiku reaffirmed his commitment to women and youth empowerment, saying that 2023 election will be a referendum on the failures of the APC. Atiku assured that his administration will increase the empowerment for women if elected president in the general election next year. The PDP presidential flag bearer made this commitment on Friday during the unveiling of the strategic communications brand of his presidential campaign in Abuja. Atiku recalled serving as chairman of the Economic Council at a time when the GDP of the country growing from the military was just about 0.6%, and by the time they were leaving, they had taken the GDP to 8%. The event, which was attended by a number of campaign officials, as well as members from the private sector of the Abuja business community, and the vice presidential candidate and the governor of Delta State, Ifan Yokowa, was the unveiling of the Recovery Nigeria messaging of the PDP presidential campaign. Atiku, while responding to questions from the audience at the event, remarked that if we are serious about increased prosperity, then we must increase empowerment of women. He further said that the Recovery Nigeria message must be taken to the women and youths. If we are to recover Nigeria from its current mess that the APC has put us through, then we must begin that recovery from the demography that is most hit by the failure of the APC, which are the women and the youth. Nigerians have had a taste of two parties. I am not saying this for myself, but we should be proud of the records that the PDP offered, Atiko said. Many of our young ones we need to go forth out there and educate them. Many politicians that are coming around us, they lie to us. They want to make everything look easy. It is not exactly easy. But we need a man with the experience, ready to work with the young ones, ready to work with the women, and particularly together with all Nigerians to take us out of where we are and to recover us and put us on the right path. Now that is it on the details of this report. Um, until we'll come your way next time with more news happenings, do well to stay safe. Bye-bye.